Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you all my pellet stove that was gave to me. But it's got a blower that pulls air inside of it and blows it out. It's got a pretty good size hopper inside of it. The length of my arm. And it runs off of wood pellets. These were what came out of it. I gotta pick some up. Uh, this blows air through it to heat your house and you can see it's got a bunch of pipes going through the top of it which blow air out there I'll show you in a second we got an ash pan and these things from what I read and heard they make just a, a small small amount of ash but pellets here's an right here's an auger pellets get uh there's an auger that transfers the pellets through this little door here down into the pan and here's a rod for any sort of jams it came with some some other little tools to reach them down there to knock out any jams the control panels right here it's got a, an automatic igniter which is right there and uh, it blows hot air into the pellets walking lever and uh, the auger won't run while the door is open this unit does have a thermostat and it's right here alright I'm about to turn this thing back on the fan may kick on because I ran it a little bit ago and it's still warm and uh, it won't shut off till it's completely cooled down. But anyways, let's turn this thing on. And we'll pour some, some of my rabbit feed in. And uh, a mixture of these pellets that came out of it when I first turned it on. Alright, I'm going to power it on. Okay. Oh, and as I said, it was still a little warm for the sensor right here to kick it on. But now, uh, if I wanted it to run off of this control pad, what they've done is they put a jumper wire zip tied in, and you just bypass the switch because all this is is just an on and off switch. And if this makes the on and off switch run all the time. Pretty ingenious design. Because a lot of people use these things a lot of different ways. But we got the feed in, or we got the pellets in. Alright, we're going to turn it on. And then we're going to set this thing till we hear the spring click. When I did that, you could hear the unit kick on higher. And now you can see the pellets are already starting to drop in. You can see them being fed in here. So we'll go ahead and just to speed our video up some, we're gonna put a handful of them right here. To... Alright, the pellets are starting to smoke. And now there is a door here, which gives it a little bit more air. And occasionally you'll see a pellet drop in. You can see it's starting to get hot again. Oh, it just dropped a big clump in. Oh, it's starting to try to light now. And there it goes. This auger may have been a little bit clogged up. I can see some old lint and everything down in there. It just kind of spit out, spit out a fur ball.
Now I'm going to open this thing quite a bit. I don't want to burn very long. It's already hot outside. But I've got the back of it off. And here's where it comes out. I can feel a little bit of warm air. But it's not burning. You. And even when it was, had a big fire inside, it wasn't burning me. You could definitely feel it was warm though. Oh, before I go, I wanted to show you all the thermostat. We're going to say that it got up to 80 degrees or 75, whatever I had my house set to. And you hear it kick off. And what it will do is it will run these fans and it will extinguish that flame before it actually shuts off the unit. So that's what I'm saying about it won't, you know, these things won't shut off on a dime. They have a, a shut-off cycle, and the auger will quit running, and then this little pan will just burn out for the next five, ten minutes. And I can already feel it's quite a bit warmer blowing out here. Out of the tubes. But all right, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to get future updates on this pellet stove. All right, thanks everyone. Wanted to show you, it's been shutting down just a couple minutes. And you can see how much of a vacuum it pulls as soon as I open that door. It just, you can really tell the difference in the flame. You see, we are almost burned out. We have just a couple pellets left. You can see now it's completely cooled down. None of the fans are running. The thermostat's turned down, so it's not kicking on. Interesting. And again, guys, thanks for watching.